Hey guys, today on Foodie Friday, we are showing you how to make a slow cooker creamy Mississippi beef roast, all while having a whole lot of fun. And we're gonna watch me burn my mouth. Welcome back to My Camper Kitchen. I am Chris from RecipesAtCrock.com and today is Foodie Friday here on our YouTube channel where we show you quick and easy ways to make food in the Ninja Foodie. This happens to be a slow cooker recipe so you could also make this in a traditional slow cooker or even another um, electric pressure cooker, cooker that has a slow cooking feature. Although I will say my personal preference is um, the slow cook feature on the Ninja Foodie in this particular case. I like all electric pressure cookers, their electric pressure cooking about equal, but from a slow cooking standpoint, I'm kind of a fan of the Foodie. And I don't know if it's because they give me a little extra room in there, or I just like how it cooks. It cooks more like my other traditional slow cookers. So, we're going to show you one of Mikey's favorite dishes today and that is a creamy Mississippi beef roast. And so what I have is a two and a half pound roast down in the Ninja Foodie right now. And we are going to use a pack of ranch and a pack of gravy like the traditional Mississippi roast. Now, um, what we do here is we, um, because we like low carb, we like to use the creamy dill ranch because it has less carbs and then we use the au jus gravy because it also has less carbs than some of the other gravy packets. So that's what we're going to use, those two. Um, we don't need our butter this time because we are going to actually add cream cheese at the end to make this creamy Mississippi beef roast. We also are going to use a half a cup of beef broth and then a half a cup of the juice from the pepperoncinis with the um with some pepperoncinis if you don't want to use the juice you're afraid it might be a little too spicy for you just do a full cup of the beef broth and just throw in um the peppers instead so that's what we are going to do um i'm going to put the um liquid in first so then the packets can um sprinkle down over that so we're going to do a half a cup of beef broth there we go and I should have opened this beforehand. Oh, goodness. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I usually open those before I start uh, taping. Here we go. All right. Half a cup of the juice. Also, over the top right here, we are going to put in some of these peppers. They're not super spicy. I don't like spicy food. People ask us that all the time. Um, if you're not a big fan, if you're just too scared to try a roast with them, um, you could use pickles instead. We have a dilly roast on the site that people love that has a similar flavor to it um, without being scared of the peppers. But honestly, I think the peppers, it's not gonna be too spicy. So you might just put two or three in to begin with to see um, how you like the flavor and the next time add more if it doesn't bother you. Okay, so now the two packets, we're just gonna sprinkle them over the top. Alrighty. And instead of adding that butter, like I said, at the end, we're going to add that cream cheese. So we are just going to let this cook. There's enough fat in that chuck roast um, to give it a real good flavor on, on its own. I'm going to skip the salt and pepper until the end because that's a lot of seasoning packets and we may not even need it. Um, so with the Ninja Foodie, in order to slow cook, you are going to use your pressure cooking lid, but you're going to leave it to vent. Um, so then that way, and you know me, I can never figure out how to put this lid on. Okay, we're backwards right now. So I'm going to turn this this way and click um, vent. And I'm going to put it on um, low for 8 to 10 hours. And after that, uh, we'll be back to chat with you. 
and show you how we add the cream cheese and have a super yummy dish in three two one and we are back it has been about nine and a half hours and um, my roast is finally tender one of those tricks that you guys need to know is that anytime beef is in your slow cooker or pressure cooker if it's tough it needs to cook just a little bit longer um, we like we use the slow cook feature in our foodie which is an electric pressure cooker which they are notorious all of them pretty much are notorious for taking longer than a slow cooker this roast would be fall apart tender at about eight hours in a traditional slow cooker and like I said it's nine and a half and now I can actually shred it so we're gonna go for that if it comes dinner time and you're using one of these electric pressure cookers and you've been slow cooking all day and you need to speed up the process you can either pop it to high or you could actually put the lid on and put it under pressure for five or ten minutes and that would bring that baby right to shreddable I'm looking for my forks um, right to shreddable I've lost them they're over here <laughs> it's gonna bring bring uh, bring it to shreddable really quickly for you that way so that's a trick you can pull if you need to but like I said it is starting to fall apart on me so I'm gonna take it out of here so I can shred it with my two forks and meanwhile I'm going to add a brick of cream cheese that I have cubed to my sauce so it can start melting in those juices and I am gonna just I just made a mess I am going to um, turn it on to the saute feature so that that can be heating and melting that cream cheese. So I'm going to just pop it over here and start for now and stir that just real quick while I shred my beef. So there we go. So I don't think you can see it right there maybe if I scoot it back here I can pull this apart with two forks I honestly would like it to be just a little bit more tender there's pieces of it that are pretty tender um, Octavius is at my feet right now hoping that I will drop something but I'm just going to shred this and return it to the pot as I go and we'll probably speed this process up <laughs> shred it up now and now I'm just going to stir that cream cheese until it is smooth that heat is helping it melt in there it smells absolutely delicious Mikey as I, is at an open mic tonight but I know he will be very happy when I text him a picture of this so he can have his dinner when he gets home tonight now if you don't like cream cheese some people don't like the cream cheese sauce you can just make this um, I'd add a stick of butter or a half stick of butter at the beginning um, that we left out um, and do the same steps. Just skip the cream cheese at the end. But we like it this way as a way to kind of switch it up every once in a while. All right. So now for the taste test. Get just a little bit. And grab a fork. We're gonna watch me burn my mouth. Now is our creamy Mississippi beef roast. Very good. Has a nice creamy sauce to it. Just a little bit different than their traditional Mississippi. It's a great way to uh, um, switch up the night. So if you like this video, we'd love for you to give us a thumbs up, especially if you're liking the Foodie Fridays. Give us a thumbs up. Um, if you're not already a member of the crock posse click subscribe and you become a member of our slow cooking pressure cooking RV traveling family around here um, if you'd like notified every time we upload a new video click the bell down below we call that the dingling um, but whatever you do we hope you laugh often eat good food and speak life bye guys if you want to see the latest click on the left right here if you feel like subscribing click on the right my dear and if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, like the Patreon.